Good morning, Cardinals. My name is Jake Nye. And I'm Jaylee Becker. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022, and you're watching Flock Talk. Talk. Jake, are you a good artist? You tell me. Do you like it? Uh, sure. Let's check in with Pearl to learn more about local artist Lance Johnson. Hey, my name is Lance Johnson. I'm an artist, local artist here in Columbus, uh, hanging out at Worthington High School. Uh, so I'm always inspired by the diversity and the beauty of urban environments, right? The energy, the movement. So that's pretty much how my work is. It's a lot of movement, a lot of colors, a lot of vibrance. And also the foundation of my art are the words of inspiration. I feel like words have powers. Yeah, so again, the words are the foundation. For me, I, I always feel like words have power. And whatever you voice or whatever you throw out in the universe can come true, right? So I want people to see my work and see the words like hope, dream, peace, inspiration, and let that resonate with them, you know? Let that seep into them and inspire them to do great things. Awesome, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. I've never heard of this artist, but I appreciate his work. It's inspiring. I didn't even know he was coming to the school. Well, if you listen to general announcements, you would know. Attention students, the winning prom theme is Red Carpet Gala. Thank you for voting and stay tuned for more prom updates from your junior class representatives. Students interested in College Credit Plus classes next year. If you turn in your blue intent to participate form, please check your school email for your next steps as you have more to do. Mr. Court is missing hundreds of permission slips and student questionnaires. All materials must be returned to Mr. Court in the school counseling office by spring break in order for you to be enrolled in a CCP class for the next school year. Do not delay. Please turn in your forms as soon as you can. If you have questions, please email or stop by and see Mr. Court in the school counseling office. The TWHS Girls of Color Club and Student Council will be holding a toiletry drive from Thursday, March 17th to Friday, March 25th. Collections will be donated to BQIC's Free Resource Friday program, which provides clothes, food, and hygiene products to residents of Columbus's predominantly black, low-income neighborhoods. For this drive, we will be specifically focusing on hygiene products, such as oral care products, feminine hygiene products, toilet paper, bath products, and more. The teacher whose classes collect the most items will receive a donut party. Teachers, fill out the form sent to your email if you would like to have your classes participate. Cardinals are busy as always as winter sports are coming to a close. This is Sports Report. I'm Gavin Rohde. And I'm Maggie Ray. And you're watching Sport Report. It was another busy week in Cardinal country as the winter sports season is wrapping up. In the second round of boys basketball sectionals last Friday, the Wildcats dominated the Cardinals 71 to 41. Leading scorer for the Cardinals was Shaheem Nieves with 17 points. The boys won 11-14 overall, 5-5 in league play, and placed fourth in their conference. Congratulations, Joey Zalewski for making first team All-OCC and Mike Secure, honorable mention, All-OCC. Congratulations to the following 2021-2022 Girls Basketball Award winners. Nene Gardner, first team All-OCC. Josie Tinarello, second team All-OCC. And scholar athlete Ladin Nomi, OCC honorable mention. Jocelyn Ramos, cheers, OCC special mention. On Saturday, the co-ed varsity swim team competed in the Division I state finals in Canton, where Alex Cooper placed second in the para 50 free and 100 back. Congratulations, Alex, and a great season to all swim and dive athletes. We'll see you in the pool next year. Also last Saturday, the varsity wrestling team competed in sectionals with the following athletes moving on to districts this weekend. JJ Dot, Dean Poppy, Charlie Erickson, Michael Blaine, Jaden Fields, and Braden Jameson. Best of luck, Cardinals. 
The varsity ice hockey team faced New Albany in the district quarterfinals last Saturday, winning 3 2 in overtime. They moved on to the semifinals farther than any team in 18 years in a matchup against number two Upper Arlington on Sunday, losing 8 0 to end the season. Congratulations to Alex Piero and RJ Storr for receiving first team white division and second team all CHC, and Colin Stigmiller for receiving honorable mention white division. Nice job of districts, girls gymnastics, and well done on a progressive season. We look forward to what's in store next year. The varsity bowling teams competed in sectionals last weekend where both the boys and girls seasons officially ended. However, Tiffany Flores advanced as an individual to districts on Monday. Great season bowlers and best of luck to the many seniors graduating this year. The girls and boys indoor track team had the Spire Institute today for state championships. Among those who qualified are Jenna Olson, Caroline Murphy, Kennedy Macerolo, Hadley Kalina, Megan Kemp, Layla Busadra, Habib Bundu, Eli Heitzus, and Alicia Jones, Kawan Lee, Shohan Singh, Daniel Asoku, and Camden Beatty. Best of luck, fellow Cardinals. I'm Gavin. I'm Zach. And that was Sports Report. Check us out next week for a peek Ooh. into spring sports. Congratulations, athletes, and good luck to those still competing. That's all for this week's episode. We'll see you next time, and remember, it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Cardinal. Cardinal.